Hello everyone, welcome to this video today on Moods Median Test. Here we will look at the different aspects of the test and then a basic sample output on Minitab. So, Moods Median is actually a special case of Pearson chi-squared test. It tests whether the medians of two or more groups differ and also calculates a range of values that is likely to include the difference between population medians. In this test, different data groups have similarly shaped distributions and data in each sample are assigned to two groups. One consisting of data whose values are higher than the combined median of the two groups and the other consisting of data whose values are at the median or below. Assumptions of a Moods median test are that data has only one categorical factor we have a continuous response variable. Sample data is not mandatorily normally distributed. Process is better represented by median or sample size is less than 20 observations. And yes, sample sizes can be unequal too. Null hypothesis for a Moods median test is that the population medians are all equal. And alternative hypothesis is that the medians are not all equal. Test statistic for this type of a test is a chi-square statistic where we look for the observed and expected frequencies. AM and BM here indicate above median and below median. Rejection criteria is based on a critical value. We reject the null hypothesis if test statistic is greater than the critical value at a specific level of significance alpha and k-1 degrees of freedom. The steps to do a Moods median test are straightforward. However, it looks a little messy here on my slide. I'm really sorry about it. I just wanted to make sure that I give you a one view snapshot of Moods median test and you don't have to flip slides. Well, the steps start with the basics, that is stating the null and the alternative hypothesis and collecting a random sample for each of the populations. We then calculate the overall median. Next two steps are very important. We construct a table using the observed values with two columns, one showing the number of readings above the overall median and the other showing the number of readings below the overall median for each category. Then we construct a similar table using expected values and sample median instead of overall median. After making these two tables, we calculate the test statistic, state the alpha value and compute the critical value from the tables. Finally, we state the test conclusion. A super important point to remember here is that if the distributions of the groups do not include outliers, we use kruskal wallis test. And if we have a randomized block design, we use a Friedman test. Now let's quickly look at a sample Minitab output for this test. We would click on STAT, Non-Parametrix, Moods Median Test. Then we'll fill the response and factor boxes. And finally here is a Minitab summary output. We are concerned with the p-value here. If p-value is less than or equal to alpha, the medians are different and we can reject the null hypothesis that they are the same. We can use this test in a scenario like say for example we want to compare the median number of positive calls to hotline versus the median number of negative comment calls to find out if we are getting significantly more negative comments than positive comments or vice versa. I hope that you got a fair understanding of Moods median test today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to get back to me with suggestions or queries and do subscribe to the channel for free to stay updated on future videos. Thank you once again and let's get into the mood for some relaxation now. Bye bye.